Raising kids takes constant adjustments. Every day and week and month, kids are changing rapidly and it can feel impossible to keep up, much less actually get ahead of the changes. We think like it's just a phase, right? It'll get easier, right? Um, but what if we stopped thinking that those phases should be wished away or hurried through? What if each phase in a kid's life was a unique, like once in their lifetime, opportunity for us to influence their future? Whining toddler, dramatic fifth grader, stressed out 10th grader, no matter what it is, it's challenging to keep adjusting to the phases that our kids go through. But when we go through them with them, when we grow with them, we get to help them believe and imagine and care for others and relate well and trust and reason and improve and lead, make a difference. And most importantly, actually grow into an adult that knows and loves the God that made them in his image and become the type of person that he created them to be. Well, for this phase, we will hear from Becky Baker, who leads uh, Mission Kids and oversees a team of people that create a fun and purposeful and safe experience for zero through fifth graders every single week at Mission. Here we go. Babies, kids age zero to two, the cutest of all the humans. This is the phase where everything's a mess and one mesmerizing baby will insist on all of your attention. It might feel like everything's just a little crazy and probably a little late. Maybe you're waiting for your toddler with their I can do it attitude to do something at a ridiculously slow pace, or maybe someone impressively filled a fresh diaper as soon as everyone got into the car, or maybe you were finally able to sleep for an uninterrupted amount of time in the first time in forever. Whatever the case, take a deep breath, give yourself some grace, and just keep responding to what your baby needs most because babies are motivated by safety. Around age one, babies begin to develop a sense of shame and self-doubt, but have difficulty talking about anything, let alone their emotions. For these kiddos, actions are so much louder than words, so show up with your actions. In this phase, the greatest characteristic by far is just how much this baby needs you. They need you more desperately, more consistency, and more frequently than at any other stage of life. They need you to feed them, clean them, help them sleep, comfort them, smile at them, entertain them, engage them. The days are long and the task can feel so demanding, but what matters most is that you show up. In that first year, your baby is asking, am I safe? They're not asking it out loud, but they're asking it in their minds as they develop and grow. You respond to that question by establishing trust, by consistently responding to your baby's needs. That translates how, to how they experience God. Establishing a foundation of trust now launches your baby into a childhood of understanding the God who made them, the God who loves them, and the God who calls them into life with him. You might think to yourself, my baby is a baby. They can't know anything about God. But faith looks different at different ages, and loving your child by being present and responding to them can absolutely impact their faith and the person that they become. This phase is marked by an I can do it attitude. Some toddlers insist more strongly than others, but the struggle for independence kicks in and becomes so real. In this quest for independence, three things are true. One, they will make mistakes. Two, they will move too slowly. And three, there will be a mess. But remember, they're not only learning new skills, they're developing the confidence they need in order to move into the next phase. In their second year of life, they moving into asking, am I able? You respond by developing confidence. Patiently allow your toddler to try new things. It will move so slowly, but your baby will gain the confidence that they need in order to try new things and then try more new things. Your baby's brain has more neurons in this phase than at any other time in life. And those neurons are forming 2 million synapses every single second. Now, I don't know a ton about neuroscience, you probably don't know a ton about neuroscience, but I do know that that rate is an unfathomable pace of taking in new information. Your baby takes in everything around them, so help them feel safe and help them gain confidence in their constantly expanding world. Here's three things you can do to meet your baby in this phase. First, things are a little messy, literally. So choosing your battles looks like mismatched outfits, marker all over the walls, and sometimes messes that just have to be tolerated or enjoyed. Embrace those. Two, read with your kiddo. Allowing for quality time that comes through reading where you're not focused on anything 
outside the kiddo and the story you're jumping into together builds into the relationship that you're forming and the trust that's developing as well as the confidence your kid will have in order to move forward. Three, get people into your family's life. The separation anxiety can be so real in this phase, both for your baby and probably for you too. But inviting people in to take care of your kiddo for a few hours while you get out into the real world, or dropping your kiddo off in the Mission Kids nursery for an hour while you worship, or just inviting some friends over for dinner allows for people to be a part of your baby's world. Your kids need to know people outside of their family who know them, who love them, and who can support them. And that starts when they're a baby. So remember, in this phase, kiddos are asking, am I safe and am I able? You can respond to those questions by showing up, by being present, by meeting their needs. Don't miss it.